Transmission of ORF among animals in a herd or flock occurs either by direct contact with infected animals or indirectly from contact with environments contaminated with this pox virus. The virus enters the animal's body through skin abrasions and so illness rate can be high among animals that eat coarse feeds and pasture plants likely to cause damage to the mouth. ORF is transmitted by direct contact inoculation. Humans acquire the infection from contact with infected animals, carcasses, or a contaminated fomite. ORF is very common among shepherds, veterinarians, and farmers who bottle feed young lambs, as well as in butchers from handling infected carcasses. To prevent exposure to ORF, avoid having direct bare skin contact with animals that have skin lesions. Use of PPE is one way to create a barrier between people and disease agents spread by direct contact. Gloves should be worn when working with sick animals, animals with skin lesions, or animals whose health status is unknown. This is especially important if your hands have cuts, abrasions, or are severely chapped because areas of broken skin provide an entrance for disease agents. Wearing gloves does not replace good hand washing habits and it is important to wash hands in warm water and soap after removing gloves. Other disease transmission prevention practices that you can incorporate on your farm are to require or provide PPE such as clean coveralls for everyone entering animal areas and having clothing dedicated to on-farm use only. Various types of equipment can become contaminated and spread disease to humans or other animals. Things such as grooming tools can spread disease such as ORF. So it is important to wash and disinfect any equipment used on animals, particularly if those animals have skin lesions. The photo from the Center for Food Security and Public Health is demonstrating grooming tool disinfection and the photo from University of Arkansas Research and Extension is demonstrating the use of alcohol to disinfect ear tattoo equipment. Measures a producer can take to prevent and control ORF include quarantining new additions to a herd or flock for at least two weeks to see if any animals become ill, avoid co-mingling animals at shows and fairs, and avoiding sharing grooming tools especially with someone whose animal's disease status is unknown or without thoroughly disinfecting those tools in between animals. If illness with ORF does occur in a herd or flock, separate out any infected stock to slow down cross-transmission to healthy animals. There is a vaccine available for ORF, but it is typically only recommended in herds or flocks that have a problem with ORF, since the vaccine contains live virus which can persist in the environment for as long as two years. Consult your veterinarian about the best treatment for ORF and management practices that can help control ORF.